hey boos welcome back to another video and today's video is exciting some of this is um uh things that y'all have been wanting to see so <laughs> period so this late upload i really hope is worth it so in today's video you guys i'm going to be sharing my top 10 favorite brass dolls part one one today i'll be showing you guys my top 10 favorite chloe's and my top 10 favorite jades i'm really really excited to do this it was taking me some time because child it's like a parent figuring out who their favorite child is i love them all even though some do have favorite but you know whatever <laughs> stay tuned till the end of the video because i have a really exciting unboxing serve you are not gonna want to miss it so grab something to eat a little snack some juice or whatever because it's gonna be a fun video but it could be lengthy because we know i love to talk and since i got my nails done i don't know how to act right now so let's get on to the video let's start off with miss cool cat first um and this is in no particular order so i have miss funk and glow wave 2 jade she is so pretty i love her so much because um she it has a very classic jade look with her iconic ponytails and then the outfit itself i mean hello like oh she is just so pretty such a serve everything about her i got her in box um in 2019 for like 40 bucks back when times were really good in the secondhand doll market that is miss funkin glow wave 2 jade and can we just talk about how brats were so ahead of their time i remember the flame on the jeans like was like a trend like maybe summer of like 20 i think maybe like 2019 2020 or something so period shout out to doll weeb for selling um her to me is miss style and jade oh my god y'all like she is beyond gorgeous like this face i would have loved to see this screening on like yasmin or sasha um because there's a chloe with this like similar face that's a styling chloe but yes so here she is and i wanted to pretty much compliment her makeup which this outfit kind of happened um coincidentally she's just wearing this um tank top with a cat on it treasures jade skirt and then some brad's princess heels so it ended up being a perfect outfit for her and she has these earrings now her hair doesn't originally come this short she does have a haircut but i i personally love this short hair on her so yep here is miss styling jade next jade that i have to show this one is from my childhood this is my rock angels jade as you can see i had um restyled her hair not too long ago um yes i love the rock angels line it was um one of the brass lines where i owned a lot of of the pieces from i only have rock angels jade though growing up i had two of her and I had like the vanity set, the uh, practice concert stage, the airplane, um, the movie. Uh, yeah, I just really love Rock Angel. So, and this was my first ever Jade also, by the way, y'all. So I had to include Miss Rock Angel's Jade in here. Next, this is um, Slumber Party slash like Sleepover Wave 1 Jade. Here she is. She is really pretty as well. Hold on. It is hot in here. Wait a minute. Sorry, y'all. I have to get my fan on because it's just not giving. Like, I have the window open. I have this thick jacket on. Like, girl. <laughs> the Slumber Party Wave 1 Jade. Um, I love her so much because I love her hairstyle. Like, all these little ponytails she has. I just, I love it. And, yeah. And uh, I just put her in, like, little, you know, pajamas or whatever. It's giving comfy or whatever. So, yeah, I had to include her in here. Um, yeah, and I think she's just so pretty. Like, she's just so cute with these little pigtails. So, yeah, that is Slumber Party Jade. Now, y'all, we're going to move on to the shelf because my dolls are so tucked into the shelf 
that like it gives me so much anxiety taking them off the shelf so for the rest of the jades that i have to show we're just gonna go on ahead and get a little close up or whatever so so my next favorite jade on my list is hot summer days jade right here tucked in nice and tight she has on some swim bottoms and then it looks like she, i think she has a sun kissed summer top on um, and then I think she has like some little like sandals on. So pretty. Um, Jade with the tan. I mean, chef's kiss. Like what else do I have to say? Period. Girls Night Out Jade is also a favorite Jade of mine. She is really, really pretty. Um, I also feel like she's a nice classic Jade also. Because originally her hairstyle is also in her iconic ponytails. But um, yeah, her face is gorgeous. And... Yeah, I just absolutely love her. But as you can see, she is tucked back in there nice and tight. Next jade is my step out jade. Like, she is has to be my favorite from the step out line. Um, this whole line is just really cute. It gives very much like girlfriends going out for like a little girls night out dinner or something like that. Um, and she has her full a full outfit on with her cute purse. So yeah, I really, really, really do love Miss Step Out Jade. Back there, as you can see, by right there by the studio, is Miss Pretty and Punk Jade. I mean, do we really need to say much? Like, come on, she definitely carried the Pretty and Punk line. So, Pretty and Punk Jade is definitely a fave of mine for sure. Next, sitting there in the corner, looking like, oh, what the f <laughs> um, sh this is Talking Brats Jade. I love her. Her facial expression is literally everything um yeah she's just serving serving face that's for sure like this jade is too pretty and i just love this face on her just everything and then lastly sorry for like me shaking the camera y'all is formal funk jade um i definitely think that she's uh one of my favorites from the formal funk line definitely carried um yes yeah, she is so so pretty um and i mean come on like that face up oh girl <laughs> not the dust in her hair face up everything her original dress is cute obviously like she's redressed as you can see here but um yes miss formal funk jade definitely um kicks off the 10th jade that i love okay y'all so now we're going to move on into my top 10 favorite chloe's which i was able to get chloe easily off the shelf because most of my chloe's are like either in like the first row or they're like standing out to where I can just take them off. So we will get a real, real close up of all of my top 10 favorite Chloe's. Like I said, again, no particular order. First up, I have Miss Spring Break Wave 1 Chloe. She is so, so pretty. Um, of course, this is a Chloe I have transformed uh, in the past. When I got her, she actually had um, that top that my Hot Summer Days Jade had on. Uh, like a long white skirt and then her sandals so I gave her this fashion pack outfit and gave her these cute braids so yeah she is so 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 pretty I love me a tan Chloe like I mean I think most of us do but yeah she is so pretty um I love her the next Chloe y'all this is my treasures Chloe um, technically speaking, this was my first Chloe I had ever gotten uh, when I was little. There's a backstory to it, but um, I've said it in many of my videos, so feel free to go check out some, especially my um, 20th anniversary video where I'm sharing my brat's memories. I talk about this girl, this backstory behind her. But yeah, here she is with her full like outfit on, except for her little stockings, which I need to put on her because I have them um but yeah so treasures chloe i mean come on the next chloe on my list is miss secret dates chloe she is so pretty like this chloe really did not have to she didn't have to serve the way she served she didn't have to eat the way she ate like she is so pretty and I'm obsessed with like this transformation I did on her. She's wearing a fashion pack also. And yeah, she's just gorgeous. Like I can't tell y'all how many times like this Chloe, definitely. Like if you really want 
a Chloe that is serving bad bitch energy, Secret Dates Chloe, I recommend, 10 out of 10. Next Chloe that I have here, this is Miss Ula La Chloe. Here she is. She is so pretty. She's definitely serving face, as you can see, like these like striking blue eyes and this bold like dark red lip. I love screenings like this on Brad's Dolls, this sultry screening. I know a lot of people feel like this makes them look mean, but I'm here for it. So she's so, so pretty. And um, when I got her, she was a mess. Um, so yeah, but I didn't notice that she has like purple streaks in her hair, like lilac purple streaks. And apparently she comes like that. At first I was like, did the previous owner color her hair? If so, I mean, it looks cute, but she does actually have like lilac purple streaks in her hair. So yeah, this is what she's wearing. I'm really hoping to get my hands on her first original outfit because I think it's really cute. But um, yeah, otherwise this is Miss Ulala Chloe. This passion for fashion, wave to Chloe. She is so, so pretty. I do have two of her in my collection. My other one is on the very, very top shelf. Um, this one, I got her and I like, this is around the time I was trying to experiment with making outfits for dolls. But yeah, so this is what she has on, child. Um, but yeah, um, but she's just so, so, so pretty and everything i love her her face is amazing once again another iconic tan chloe oh my god come on with the uh golden hour period next chloe i have here is magic hair color chloe um i actually really really love this brats line so much um and here she is and she is also wearing a fashion pack outfit but yeah, like she's just so pretty. Their hair is amazing quality. Honestly, magic hair should have had this kind of energy in my opinion, because they have like memory hair, which makes sense of course, being it's a magic hairline. But um, yeah, so is magic hair color though, because they come with like coloring sprays and things like that. But yeah, um, I love this Chloe, I love her face. Um, and everything like I said I'm obsessed with this brat screening so yeah that is Miss Magic Hair color Chloe next Chloe is Hot Summer Days Chloe wow I'm basically showing like every tan Chloe in existence at this point um but yeah I love Hot Summer Days Chloe she is so so pretty um and this is what mine has on you know a little beachy looking fit with shorts a shirt and her swimsuit is on actually underneath this this is her, she's super, super cute. And yeah, she's just so pretty, like. Next Chloe that just so happens to be another iconic tan Chloe is Forever Diamonds Chloe. Um, Shout out to B World, I bought her from him a long time ago. But yeah, he added lashes to her, which please imagine a Forever Diamonds on with lashes, like low-key a missed opportunity but it's all good she's still serving um yeah so i was able to find like a good outfit to give her her original top these were um most likely forever diamonds pants but these were these were cut previously but i just put them on her and then i was able to find her heels so yeah and then her ponytail is just you know sleek stiff wear nowhere period um yeah so forever diamonds chloe she is oh just so pretty i love miss style it chloe like this chloe is so pretty and it's mainly the makeup this brown lip on her is just everything like just let's just take a moment like yes it's just so pretty mm, so pretty and lastly to kick off or end off i should say my top 10 favorite chloe's is funk and glow wave to chloe this chloe is technically like my holy grail chloe doll um i love her so much it took so long for her to get to me because she came from um where did she come from she came from 
I want to say Australia, but um, yeah, so here she is. She is so pretty. I love this face on this Chloe. Um, of course, I gave her this like funky hairstyle. Shout out to Forever Dolls on Dollstagram. I'm definitely inspired. Um, and yeah, and then she came in this outfit, which is honestly perfection. She has on like her original outfit pieces. But yes, Funk and Glow Wave 2 Chloe. Stay tuned for the next, literally in like a few seconds, for an iconic unboxing. I promise it's going to be iconic, period. Okay, hey, y'all, so the mail has arrived. So first off, in this package, this is actually um, a doll that I ordered, um, which I'll try to show in the next clip. But this is what we really are here for. Okay, <laughs> moment of truth. First of all, of course, there's a little story time. We love a good story time. Got this lot. It's a lot of four dolls from Offer Up. When I saw the first photo, I was like, okay. When I swiped, I was like, okay. And I was like, when I saw the price, I was like, okay. Pumps breaks real quick. I messaged the seller politely because I only saw three dolls. I asked. Oh, is it just three dolls in the picture or is there a fourth one? They said, yes, I will send you pictures via iMessage, which they did, period. I then asked, is the price for um, all of the dolls collectively? And they said, yes. So what did I do? I was like, which I actually spoke about this on my Instagram story. I actually said, okay, this could be a serve or this could be my neck. Either way, I'm feeling lucky, so I already weighed out the pros and cons of this, um, like the possible results, all that. I was like, you know what? Send an offer. It was priced at, this lot, y'all, was priced at $185 plus $11 shipping, which means after doing the math, it's around $200. I sent an offer for like, like $160, $165. They accepted it. So I paid 180, like 185 altogether. Cause I was like, okay, if this is my neck, I, it's really gonna kill me more if I spend $200. So let's just see if I can knock some of that off, which I did. So I paid $185 for this lot of four dolls. That's four of it in the story. Um, uh, the seller sent me photos, sent me everything packed up. Let me know that the daughter um, that owned these, their daughter, uh it was selling them at that price ship them i think like monday didn't ship them monday morning then i was like oh um you know having asking like oh were you able to happen to ship the dolls it's like i'll do after work didn't do so i was like, okay that's fine um i was getting nervous at this point then messaged me and let me know that he shipped them tuesday the seller was really great very polite updated me when i asked and everything I remained polite and respectful because I was wanting this to work out before I was just like uh-uh I want my money back now the moment of truth um is obviously seeing if what I paid for is in here I'm gonna open the flaps so that y'all can see what's in here if you can okay my eyes are closed y'all can see it I am a god. I'm officially on my Kanye right now. First, let me show y'all just everything one by one. In this bag, you see all of Treasures Jade's accessories. All of them. Okay. We have a Rock Angels Jade. Okay. Period. Let me turn this music down. Just need to make sure y'all can hear me. Like, okay. Then we have 
Rock Angels Jade's accessories. Okay. Y'all ain't ready for this heat. The fourth doll in the photo that wasn't pictured, I want to show first, is Birthday Bash Sasha, fully dressed with her gift bag too. Gorgeous, right? So you've just seen two of the four. Are you ready for this? Oh my God. We have Treasures Jade, okay? Fully dressed, got her second full outfit, okay? Look. Period, like, like, period, like, period. Oh my God. I'm about to have a heart attack. Let me tell y'all something. When y'all see this last doll in here, remember this. I paid $185 for these four dolls. If you do the math, I paid $44 each for each of these dolls. When I show y'all this doll, let it be known. When I tell y'all be patient, when you're trying to get your grail doll, your dream doll, do not pay over $100 for it. Don't do it, don't contemplate it. This is why. I'll wait. I'm gonna give you a few minutes to get up off the floor. I mean, do I need to say anything else? This is Campfire Felicia. Fully, fully, like, look like she was just out the box, out of her unboxed, fully dressed with her second outfit and accessories. Y'all, no haircut. I hate to toot my own horn, but honk honk because, y'all, this is why I was saying this could be a make or break for me. Mind you, each of these dolls that I just pulled out, especially these two, homegirl still even got her scarf secured, especially these two, but I'm including them as well. Each of these, for some reason, especially these two, would go for the price of over 180 each. I got all four for $185. Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 Get into it. Yeah. I, I, it doesn't feel real. It doesn't even feel real. And here they are. Like, here they are. Oh my God. So, y'all, these are not for me. <laughs> neck I got y'all's neck didn't I I have all of these dolls already in my collection I am gifting these to my closest friends saw this lot y'all all I was thinking about was if I don't get this right now I will just go play in traffic okay S simple simple I just got her for $45 when I'm telling y'all do not overpay do not it might take a while. I've been on the search for a Campfire Felicia for one of my besties for months now at this point. And when I tell y'all patience is everything, patience is everything. In that video where I talk about don't pay scalper prices, I mean it, okay? I did it maybe twice. I paid for my Campfire Felicia. I paid over 180 for her. I paid like two, 230 or something which is ridiculous. I just found her for $45. Like, basically, if you do the math and, you know, divide 185 by four type stuff. But yeah, as y'all's female black dog collector, I promise I would never tell y'all wrong. Patience is everything. That was even a tip I shared in one of my YouTube videos about, you know, um, 
when it comes to buying these dolls and trying to find your dream dolls and stuff patience is everything do not be so thirsty to go get a doll before they release or to get your hands on a one-of-a-kind doll or whatever to where you put yourself in like a financial hold like just don't do that when it's not necessary okay like don't so yes y'all that is this iconic lot campfire felicia fully dressed with her bag of accessories treasures jade fully dressed with her accessories birthday bash sasha fully dressed with her gift bag and rock angels jade fully dressed with her accessories the serve of the century it doesn't even matter what i have in my other package i just told y'all wild west chloe she's just a mess i need to clean her up but anyways y'all that wraps up this video or please just let me know who are your top 10 or one of or two of your favorite chloe's or jades are i would love to know i would love to know um but yes you guys and stay tuned i will definitely be doing a part two where i share my top 10 favorite sashes and yasmins um i'm excited for that but anyways thank y'all so much for watching and i'll see y'all in the next video bye boos yup